Hey yo, it's Ethan Fabworks here. Today, I'll be showing you how to use a VZ21 Turbo on a Predator 212. Here's the engine I have done testing with. It is the Hemi version of the 212. This one spools the turbo up real nicely. This is my worn out uh, mounting engine. This is what I use to basically build the kit and do all the welding for it. First, to start off, we have the turbo. This is RHB31 VZ21 turbo. This one's kind of messed up, as you can tell. But this is the turbo I use for testing. I have to get a new one. But next, connecting the turbo to the exhaust. Here we have a exhaust converter, custom TIG welded, you know, normal stuff. And this will go on the turbo. And the turbo sits just like this. And the intake is shot over here to the carb. The main thing is you want to do a blow through setup because it keeps everything pretty, pretty nice and neat and cool looking because you can see your compressor. Next is the fuel system. A pulse pump is pretty necessary for this. This will be your fuel going into the carb, and then you'll have gas going in, and you'll just connect this just like any other pulse pump with this being the, using the uh, crank pressure to uh, basically push fuel into your carb. Next, we have the vacuum system. This will be somewhat like this, and Right at this end, we have, this goes to your turbo right here. This, this one, it's got a T-fitting. This will go to the gas tank. And then we have two right here. This is for your carb. So to pressurize the carb correctly, there is a, right here, this is a uh, vent basically. And then also underneath there is a vent. I'm using the VZ22 carb, I think, or whatever, the 22 millimeter, but you basically just use one of these, and these two are the vents. This is what you'll use to pressurize the bowl, and then another main thing, you need to put a screw in this little vent right here. This will stop your engine from running really rich, basically just put any kind of bolt nut you can thread it whatever but you put that in there that'll stop uh gas from basically using the pressure to escape here and it'll run real bad and it'll run fine at idle but as soon as you get boost it'll start shoving you know gas through it i haven't had too much problems with actually running the engine so next we have the intake system basically what you're going to be pushing boost through this is just a cheap little rubber pipe goes on the carb then we have another tig weld pipe goes basically straight to your turbo which will be over here and this setup seems to work pretty nice i'll drop a video of it running right now So basically this setup is really really simple to do and it looks real cool i have actually had good success and a lot of people ask me about the oil system so for the oil system do not use these these i have done testing these ones basically blow themselves out these ones work well for pumping but they're very very low pressure and you'll blow out your seals real quick 
that is why this turbo is blown basically it's been converted to grease to get a little bit extra out of it you know it's don't use these i recommend using something that pushes 100 psi and then using basically a ball valve with a pressure gauge on the other side to basically send oil into the turbo and keep it these say they take around with the prayer 212 it should take around 15 to 30 psi 30 being like 7000 rpm which most people won't be running wet but for oil make sure this is where the oil goes in this top piece do not put it in through here that's another reason you'll blow your seals it goes in up here the turbos will come with that upside down or it looks like it's upside down and also these are useless uh they go at 15 psi you can leave them on i left it on because i didn't feel like cutting it off and welding and stuff but these only this kit will only make psi the psi should be around five maybe a little bit more if you have a better build than just stock but the turbo will work on a stock engine these kits i plan on making them and actually selling these kits so basically what it looks like it's really cool concept i i've had really minimal problems with getting the blow through system to work but i'll drop you guys a video of it running and a video of what it basically looks like right now.